Hey doodlers! This is actually my third video on doodly tutorials in the last 24 hours. I guess I am on a roll, but I happen to know what it's like to be totally new and frustrated when you can't figure something out and hope that you can find information quickly without a whole bunch of fluff. So I'm going to provide that for you right now and hopefully that's exactly what I've done in the last videos. This particular video is going to be about how to time your audio with your screens. Okay, I had watched a video, it was a Doodly tutorial, and the woman who had given Doodly otherwise very favor, favorable reviews was talking about her frustration and the fact that she didn't know how to listen to her voiceover in Doodly and time out the screens to tell the story. So basically, because if you hit the preview button, you'll be only you'll only really be able to see what you've done. And even if it continues to play the sound, you're not going to be able to see the timing of it. So this is how you solve that problem. I use Audacity. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you use to record your your voiceover, whatever it is, you're going to have to save it as an MP3 in order to put it into Doodly. That's going to go here. All right, you'd upload it here under sounds and then you would drag it down to here. All right, so what you're going to end up doing is you put that in and whatever little background music you might want in here as well, that goes here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up whatever it is, whatever program that you use on your computer to play your MP3 back to you, you're going to have that open separately, which I do. And this is where you're going to see it, <clears throat> or this is at least where I see it. And you'll see it in a similar way with whatever it is you're using. So in this case, I have it set at about a minute and 45 seconds. I know exactly how long my audio is. I can see here. I can see exactly where I am in the audio itself. So at about a minute and 45 seconds, I'm not going to play this because I already did this the first time. It was a horrible echo and I'm going to spare you guys. This is my second time making this just to avoid that. At a minute and 45 seconds into about two minutes, two minutes and change, I'm talking about the fact that my family had moved out of the country and they came back. All right. What I did, I play stuff like that and I get to see the timing. All right, this is what I'm talking about at this time. I know this because the time is changing here. So I go back to Doodly. And uh, in this case, let's just say I have worked up to about a minute and 45 seconds or so, minute and 40 seconds. So I guess around here is when I would start to transition into the new screen, talking about what I am hearing myself say over here. So that's how I would know how to plan out this screen and that screen. Sorry, right here. Okay, and like I said, minute and 45 seconds to two minutes, that's an approximation, it's a roundabout, but this is the approximate time frame that I am talking about the subject matter. And the reason, again, that I know this is because I was able to time it here. So wrapping this up in a nutshell. You put everything in, you put your audio in, you put your music in, and you open up your audio in a separate program so that you can see the timing. As you are creating your video and your screens, you are listening to what you're saying and at what time. That's when you go back here and you can see your timing right here. Okay, at about a minute and 45 seconds or so, I am going to be talking about this thing. And so that is how you would create your next scene. That is the best way to do it. And it's, it's you'll know, I am finished talking about this thing at about two minutes and eight seconds or so. And that's when you know how to go on to the next screen. I hope this helps you guys plan out your syncing your your scenes with what you're saying in a way that helps you move through the process smoothly and without having to constantly hit the preview button not that that's a bad thing but it'll really help it'll it'll help give you clarity throughout the process much much better or at least it has for me 
Let me know if you have any other questions. I will probably create a video on how to do some other stuff because, like I said, I seem to be on a roll. And I hope this helped you guys out. Until next time, take care.